All right, I wanted to just do a video on this recent uh, Thor movie that came out. Uh, it was apparently, I guess, the fourth installment of this this Thor franchise by Marvel, owned by Illuminati Disney, of course. Of course, because Disney pretty much owns a lot of stuff. They own ABC News, they own uh, the Star Wars films. I mean, they own a lot of stuff. I mean, you'll be, you'll be shocked how much Disney owns when you really uh, just do a quick Google search and how much the companies Disney owns, it'll shock you, to say the least. But it turns out that this Thor film is filled to the brim with LGBT ideology. Now, I have to use the politically correct terms because cancel culture has gotten so out of control that anything is offensive now, pretty much. Any any jokes, anything, I mean, it's just ridiculous. But it says here on this uh, website called Screen Rant, did Thor, Love and Thunder break its Valkyrie LGBTQ plus promise? Ter uh, Tessa Thompson suggested that Valkyries, Valkyries, whatever, however you say it, first plan as king of New Asgard would be to find a queen. Did Thor, Love and Thunder deliver on this? So basically they're going to have a lesbian uh, theme and undertones in this Illuminati film. Early in production, Thor Love and Thunder promised to provide a better LGBTQ plus representation for the MCU, but saying whether that promise was delivered on is more complex than it may appear. Since the MCU first began with Iron Man in 2008, it is rarely focused on romantic storylines. However, uh, that, that is often not what re representation is about, and in the early days of the MCU, the cast characters were mostly white, cisgender male, heterosexual figures. While changes have been made since then, it is a developing area for the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Kevin Feige promising more LGBTQ plus characters back in 2018, which has begun to be fulfilled with movies like The Eternals. You know, obviously, push and by the way, these are kids' films. A lot of kids will go see, like a lot of kids, young teens will go see these films. So they're putting all this LGBT ideology in the film. A particular focus for the MCU's LGBTQ+ has been on Tessa Thompson' portrayal of the Asgardian hero Valkyrie. I hope I'm saying that right. Who is chronic? Who is uh, canonically a bisexual in the comics? Introduced in Thor Ragnarok, uh, Val Valkyrie appeared in Avengers: Infinity Wars and Avengers: Endgame with her last story appearance, seeing Thor uh, make her a king of Asgard when he left to travel with the Guardians of the Galaxy. When asked about the future of her character at San Diego Comic Con in 2019, Tessa Thompson said, quote, first of all, as king, as the new king, she needs to find her queen. So that will be the first order of business. She'll have some, she'll ha she has some ideas. I'll keep you posted, unquote. Seemingly promising an explicitly queer romantic storyline as a priority for, for the Valkyrie. Now I want to point something out. You have a female who's calling herself king. So already you got gender bending right there, but, uh, just the type of Illuminati LGBT ideology you have put in these films for you know kids and young teens because that's who primarily the audience are of these films. You know I remember uh, when I was in a uh, middle school with, with the Canadian equivalent of middle school, seeing a lot of kids you know wearing Marvel backpacks because I remember Avengers came out back when I was in the fourth grade, the first Avengers film. So it was a big thing. It was for that age range. So obviously the Illuminati is going to put all this stuff in the films to. Obviously, I'd say indoctrinate next because I had to be very, very uh, tame in what I say because YouTube, just the cancel culture again, is just out of control. So I wanted to point that out. You know, the verse which talks about train up a child in the way that he should go. Satan knows that verse too. He knows that verse pretty well. And he's putting it, uh, he's putting his knowledge of that verse on full display in his Hollywood Illuminati films. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.